you just see that clock like winding back in time and you see them like, you just see them young again, something that you never thought you'd see. We got involved with the Music and Memory program. Our school does clinical rotations where students go to the hospitals or nursing facilities to volunteer and see what a work is like in medicine. And the kids really responded to it because they love their music and they couldn't imagine being without. The students help in many ways. They help with the interview process. They complete a form called Getting to Know You. Also a music detective form where they interview the residents and ask them special music preferences and talk about their past experiences and just is generally an overall positive experience for both the resident and the student. It's been wonderful. The Music and Memory program here has been absolutely amazing. I don't think the music program works if you just put a headset on somebody and say, here you go, and walk away from the situation. I think you have to be really engaged in it. When the students from John Jay came, they were a little bit nervous about what they were supposed to do and what they weren't supposed to do. So taking time to listen to them and empower them and teach them meant a lot to them. It went from coming to me or somebody else for support. They knew they could just go and see that resident. They knew how to enter into a room. They knew how to engage them. They knew how to talk to them. When we walk into the room and he lights up, it gives you a sense of purpose that's immeasurable. And then seeing him light up again when he listens to the music or it brings back memories and he smiles or he laughs, it's very nice. The main thing is the music. We're able to get here and all the nurses are busy, but we're able to be in charge of passing out the music. Hey, you need music, you need music, let me go get it for you. So that way you'll feel more comfortable. They can come out in this little circle that they have here and just feel welcome. They would walk in and they would be like so grumpy or just, oh, I'm gonna go to sleep or I'm not gonna do this today. I just wanna be in my room, don't bother me. Music is nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna put it on, okay? Okay. After they would get so happy, like you would see, oh, a big smile, and then just start tapping their feet. And most of the residents, you don't see them move. Now, when you see music, it's like, oh, wow, they're moving, they're like moving their arms, they're smiling, just from putting music on. When I saw the residents put on the headset, they literally wake up. You see a different them, you see them happy, you see them move around something that they haven't done in a while. It makes me happy, it feels like I'm doing something right. It just brings back like the memories and the smiles and everything, so it's a positive impact. It's not, it's something completely different than actually just thinking that medicine could actually do everything, you know? It, it's really good. For Iris and, and other seniors with dementia, music is something that they resonate to. It makes, it just is a calming factor for them. Iris and I have loved music all our lives. We love to dance. You will never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. It's things like that music and memory that brings out their better part and lets them for just a little while focus, you know, on enjoying life. It's a treasure. They go back in time and it's like the loved ones that they lost or just the people who haven't been there for them it's like they come back and like it just like you see like the broken pieces of their heart finally come back together like you see their spirit uplifted you see them become alive again my wife loved music all her life every minute of her life she loved music she lived music even 10 days before she died she was listening to a rachmaninoff piano concerto number two first movement got to be louder and faster. Her hands were moving under the sheets, I could see. And she had not been talking. She couldn't talk at that point. But suddenly, her eyes came open. She looked up, obviously, at the conductor and said, I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> Even though she could not communicate completely, we could communicate through music. I have always believed in my heart, music touches the soul of every person. We just each have our own different types of music. But once you hear that one song, it brings meaning to you. You relate to it, you connect to it. I think every school should have a music and memory program. I've seen a huge change in my students that participated and all of it positive. We all have a playlist or a soundtrack to our life. And so they assign 
a lot more value to that now. Having the two generations come together and having that connection through music, we need that connection. Everybody does, whether they're a teenager, 40 years old, 80 years old. And when you see people that you take care of, life comes back in and their face lights up and you see them tapping and singing and, and enjoying and moving around and you just, it's, it's infectious. And you don't want it to end and you want it to grow and you want to share it not only with yourself and your community but with other communities too. People who don't know about the Music and Memory program should really get more involved in it because it really is an amazing thing. It makes you feel good and it makes you feel like you're doing something to change the world and it's an experience that every young person should go through at one point in their life.